everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by for today's video. Happy Vlogtober Day 12. Woo! We are doing it, aren't we? We are doing it. Happy Thursday, everybody. Happy Thursday. Woo! Tomorrow is Friday the 13th. Luckiest day of the year, right? Luckiest day of the year, depending on how you look at it. Half, half glass full, half glass empty. So anyway, I hope everybody's had a great week so far. I hope everybody's had a great day today. I hope everybody is happy, healthy, and safe, right? That's, that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. So anyway, guess what? Guess what I got done today? Person number two is wrapped. Let me tell you something. That person number two was a rascal when I was getting the wrapping, tr wrapping them. They were, they were wriggling all over the place, throwing their arms around. I had to tie their arms down at their sides. They would not hold still while I was wrapping them. Just joking. Anyway, getting things done, right? Getting things done. See how simple dimple it is? See how simple dimple it is, right? It, it it works. Try it. Try it. It works. Okay? You don't always have to like the person that has good advice. Right? Right. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing great today. I think the boys, well, at least, you know, at least Buddy, at least Buddy is going to behave while we are visiting today. He, his tummy is full. I turned on my Duraflame uh, little fireplace heater and he and Hobo are laying in front of that. They love to warm their bones in front of the heater and they know what time the heater goes on in the evening times, right? So anyway, so he should be well taken care of now. I do have, for today's video, um, I do have quite a few things to show you. And it's just random little things that I feel may help you all, okay, um, in your life, okay? I feel like I have a cat hair on my, on my face. So anyway, and you all know that I will not recommend something to you that I have not tried myself, okay? That's how it works here at Lily Bug Lane. I will start to do something, right, to, to see how it goes for me, and then if I feel that it's successful for me, guess what I'm gonna do? Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pass it on to you, right? Because if it helped me, then it could help you, right? Right, and I do post a lot of um, these things on Instagram. So, if you would like to follow me on Instagram, please make a request. Send me a private message letting me know that you saw me here on YouTube. I will vet you. I will, because remember, we have to be careful who hooks our wagon to us, right? Right, so I will vet you. And then you can join our friends over on Instagram. Join us over on Instagram. So anyway, let's do this, right? Let's do this. We are coming up on cold and flu season, right? Right? The flu does exist, and we are coming up on cold and flu season. One of the things that I am going to stress to you, okay? prevention over treatment. So your goal is going to be to practice preventative measures, right? So that you don't have to go to your doctor or go to the ER or go to the urgent care, okay? Because I'm gonna tell you a little secret, okay? I'm gonna tell you a little secret. They don't care about you. They don't. They don't care about you. They don't. 
I'm, I'm just being honest. They don't care about you. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to care about yourself, right? As selfish as that may sound, we're going to be selfish. We are going to care about ourselves. We are going to do what it takes to keep ourselves well during cold and flu season. So we do not end up a customer of big pharma. Just saying, just saying. You want to have this, okay? You want to have this and you want to take it every single day. Now, if you are too immature to take it every single day, then that's on you, right? But responsible adults do what they need to do, right? So you would want to take this every single day and the serving size will be on the bottle, but you want to take zinc every day. You'll be surprised the results that you will get. If you are consistent with taking the zinc. Another thing is I have mentioned this a couple times. Okay. And I want to show you this. This is cucumber water. Okay. Now I started drinking cucumber water exclusively. I'm going to say probably six months in to losing weight. It was suggested to me to try cucumber water and I did and I love it. Okay. Now this helps with bloating. It also helps to cleanse your system. The cucumber is good for you. So what I do is I take a cucumber, I slice it up and the, I would say, I would say not thinly sliced at all. Okay. Medium to thick slices. Okay. You drop them into a container and then you fill it with water and you put it in the fridge. Now I drink a minimum of two of these a day, a minimum of two a day. And what you do is that when the, when the water is, you just refill it. Okay. Now, as you can see, you can see that these cucumbers are, these are down at the bottom. There's, there's a couple still up at the top because I made this two days ago. So as the cucumber releases its nutrients, right? And flavors the water, it's going to start to look translucent, right? And it's going to float down to the bottom. So when they're all down at the bottom and they're almost as clear as you can see through them, right? That's when you make new cucumber water and you'll be able to tell when you refill and then go for your next glass, you'll notice that the cucumber flavor isn't as intense. You'll notice it'll start to wane over time and that will be your indicator as to when it's time to do, do fresh cucumber water. And I usually do it about a week, every week or week and a half, I'll make new cucumber, like I'll use a fresh cucumber and I'll make it, right, to make fresh water. It is very refreshing, okay? It is very, very refreshing. And if you have a headache, okay, if you're getting a headache, drink water. That's the first thing you should do is to drink water, okay? Drink water because headaches, sorry, I had a little bit of a glitch there. Um, headache is, a, is one of the first indicators that you are dehydrated. So if you are starting to get a headache, drink some water, right? Drink eight ounces of water and see if that doesn't help you with the headache. Now, if it doesn't help you with the headache, then proceed to your usual forms of treatment, right? Right. Now, I've just been doing this for the last month, and I cannot tell you what a difference I feel with this, 
okay? I have been drinking bone broth every morning. Eight ounces of bone broth every morning. I warm it up, it's delicious, and I know a lot of you probably have had bone broth before, but this is very, very good for you, okay? It's got a lot of vitamins, it's got a lot of nutrients in it, it helps to build, um, it helps with collagen production and also cartilage production, okay? So if you have sore joints, if you have sore muscles, if you have the big D, like, you know, you get a little bit of a stomach bug and you're having some ass blasts, right? Not Gatorade, not Gatorade. You want to do bone broth. Now, if it is a child, and I'm going to say 10 to 13, okay, you want to probably do broth, just broth stock, right? Chicken stock, beef stock, instead of the bone broth for younger. But for adults, right, adults, they can do the bone broth. And it is very good warmed up, very savory, and it's very satisfying, okay? You want to try to stay away from Gatorade, any kind of energy drink, stay away from it because it is poison to your system. It is. And especially Gatorade with children. Gatorade was not made for children. Gatorade was made for elite college football players. Okay. And children are not elite college football players. So no Gatorade for children. No Gatorade for children. I'd rather a child, if they're not feeling well, I'd rather they have ginger ale, right? Can't, like Canada Dry ginger ale, than Gatorade, okay? And you can remove the bubbles just by stirring it with a spoon, right? Right. So this is wonderful. I cannot believe the difference that I feel, just overall difference I feel in my body after doing this for a month. So I wanted to let you all know that this is wonderful. Wonderful, okay? And it can be low sodium, it can be regular sodium, it can be organic, it cannot be organic, it can be, you know, whatever, homemade, whatever. But bone broth, very, very, very good. Okay. I want to thank everybody for all the wonderful comments that they have been leaving, okay? And we are going to talk about this, okay? I just have to figure out exactly how we're going to talk about it when we do, okay? I've had a lot of questions and comments about my hair, okay? And my hair is very important to me. It's very, very important. One of the things that has happened since losing weight and since becoming postmenopausal is my hair has thinned okay it has thinned out i have probably lost half of the volume of my hair that i originally had okay so as i'm getting older right because i'm 57 um one of the things i want to do is i want to keep my hair as healthy as possible and I want to keep my hair so shedding is a real issue when once you're postmenopausal or you get older right shedding is a big thing and thinning right one of the things that I do use is I use rosemary oil okay and rosemary oil is very very good for your scalp you can also use castor oil that is wonderful for your scalp too and what I do is I put some on my fingers. I rub my fingers together like this. And then I just start massaging very well into my entire scalp. Okay? Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Now, it's very aromatic. Okay? It's very aromatic. But if you can't smell anything then it's not gonna bother you, right? It's not. 
Some people like the smell of rosemary, some people don't. It can be very, very strong. So, you know, you'll know if you like it or not, right? And if you don't like it, then go to castor oil and do the same exact thing. But what we want to do, because if you're postmenopausal, your estrogen levels are going down, right? And estrogen is one of the things that keeps our hair healthy and intact, right? So we want to stimulate the hair follicles on our scalp. And it feels really good too. It does. And you can do it at night before you go to bed and you can put one of those terry cloth lined shower caps on your head and sleep like that you can do it an hour before you take a shower and just you know get that in there and just let it sit and then go into the shower and what you know shampoo as usual or whatever but this is very very good and this is what i use on my hair now they do recommend that you put this in with what they call a carrier oil right so you're going to want to use something that's light. You're going to want to use like avocado oil or coconut oil. If you have thin hair though, okay, you're going to want to use it sparingly because you're not going to like the fact that you've got all this oil in your hair and then you're going to have to try and get all this oil out of your thin hair. Do you know what I'm saying? It's going to weigh your hair down, but it can be done. It can be done. So something to think about right? Rosemary oil, peppermint oil, castor oil, anything that's going to stimulate your hair follicles, right? And keep them healthy and your scalp healthy too. All right. We're going to talk about the pets. Okay. You all know that we have kitty cats here at Lilybug Lane. We are a, we are a kitty cat household. We are. And just let me tell you this. I love boy cats. Okay, I love boy cats. Now we have two boys and a girl, right? So we have Hobo and Buddy and we have Buttons, right? And I love Buttons just as much as I love Hobo and Buddy, but I prefer boy cats. Boy cats, girl dogs. That's how I prefer it. But anyway, so Hobo was diagnosed with the diabetes. He was, he was diagnosed with the diabetes, okay? And that's a whole other story. <laughs> and one of the things that we noticed is that he is biting his forearms, okay? His two front legs. He's biting them. And I took him to the vet and I said, you know, this is the issue that we're having. Well, this was before he was diagnosed with the diabetes. And um, the first thing... The first thing that was suggested was an anti-anxiety medication. And I thought to myself, you've got to be shitting me. You think I'm going to give my cat an anti-anxiety drug. A cat. Right? A cat. Okay? That ain't happening. So we switched food, which is your first line of treatment. Right? We switched food. Then it was suggested that we give the cats a probiotic. So we have started giving them a probiotic on their food in the evenings. This is a powder. It comes in a pouch. This is for cats. They also make it for dogs. Okay. And it's just this little pouch. I rip it open and I, this pouch gets distributed through three food bowls. Let me tell you something. First of all, they love it. They love it. Second of all, it has helped. It has helped. Has it eliminated it? No, but it has helped. I would say 80%. Okay. 80%. And you have to remember for hobo, but you have to remember he's got the diabetes, right? So he's got that sugar going in his system, right? So there's always that, you know, there's always that to deal with too. And we do give him insulin shots. I do, you know, test him every day for his blood and we do give him insulin shots, but he still got that running through, you know, running through him, the extra sugar. So we think that that's what it is. Do you know what I mean? 
So anyway, that's today's video. I just wanted to share, you know, these things with you so that if you wanted to try them, you could try them. So there we go. Day 12 of Vlogtober. We have made another video. We have. We are doing it, aren't we? We are. Thank you all so, so much for spending this time with me today. I really appreciate it. And I am loving spending this time with you. There's still a lot of the month left, so there's a lot more to come, right? We're easing into it a little bit. We're easing into it a little bit, aren't we? We are. We are. I hope you are happy. I do. I hope you're healthy. It's up to you. And I hope you are safe. And I will see you. I will. I will see you again tomorrow for another Vlogtober video.